Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Record of Ragnarok chapter 74, The Feelings Which Connect Us. Obviously this chapter is presumably going to reveal to us whatever Beelzebub's big uh, ultimate form supreme technique thing is. The uh, forbidden technique of the underworld, the original sin number zero, chaos. Hopefully it'll be really cool and like really strong for Zeus to have been freaking the fuck out over Bill's about using it. I've also heard, I, I heard people mention weeks ago that supposedly we were going to be getting Tesla's backstory this chapter. I feel it would make more sense for us to get it next chapter, but you know, that's just me. Maybe it depends on how long this chapter is. Let's see how long it's 47 pages. Eh... Eh, it'll get saved for a longer chapter, I think, but who knows, maybe I'm about to be surprised. So, you know, without any further ado, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd like to try and hit at least 100 likes on this month's reaction. And without any further ado, let's get right into the chapter. Okay, so we're here in the arena. Got the domain expansion. The Lord of the Flies unleashes an attack that threatens to swallow up the very heavens. Ah, fuck, the Emperor's Ring is back. Oh, God. Alright, that's a big fucking explosion. I do believe that is the biggest impact we have seen any attack, technique, whatever have outside the arena. The platform explodes. <laughs> The platform for the arena is gone. Uh, Heimdall's getting sent flying off into the crowd, probably. Speaking of the crowd, they're freaking out as gusts of wind or uh, explosions burst through them. Oh, so this is chaos. What a horrible technique. Woohoo! Amazing, amazing. Hello, Nostradamus. So, I'm wondering, has he just turned his entire body into just, like, this vibration engine or something? Is he just emitting vibrations now throughout his entire body? Oh, fuck, we got a... Is this a spread? Hold on. Gotta change the format. Double P. No, I, I guess it's not a spread? I don't know. Well... Okay. It looks like it should be. Or is this just a spread with half the arena? The whole arena got gouged. Yeah, no shit, man. Whoa. What just now? What in Valhalla happened? Uh, the whole fucking arena is just obliterated. This is new. This is a new thing. We haven't had something quite like this before. Ah! Oh, there's Tesla. Oh, uh, yeah, he's bleeding a lot. Uh, he's up. But his armor is pretty fucking busted. He looks to be bleeding from the eyes. That is really bad. The details are currently unclear, but Beelzebub's horrendous attack has torn Tesla to shreds. Tesla's on death's door. The flame of humanity's hope has been swallowed by the darkness of Hellheim. He's on the verge of being snuffed out. Ah. Uh, Big sis Gondol. I hope Gondol lives. She is a really cool design. And, you know, is connected to Tesla, who's awesome. What the hell was that technique? Zeus, do you know something? No. I only ever heard stories, but... The right hand of offense and the left hand of defense. We firmly clasped the two of them together. To condense the vibrations of both... And then they explode in one violent burst. So he can- can he do that again? Is that a thing that Beelzebub can do? The horrible power of that technique is so destructive. That it was once branded as taboo even in Helheim. But... Um... Are those scars or tattoo marks appearing on Beelzebub? That guy, he's all torn to shreds now too- Okay, that's like wounds opening up. And he can- can he just do it again, I wonder? I mean, yeah, it'll injure himself, but can he just keep doing it? Because if he can just keep doing it, that's fucked. 
In exchange for that horrible destructive power, he destroys his own body. Chaos. What an absurdly terrible technique. But that's precisely why Beelzebub failing to put down Tesla is proof that he made a grave miscalculation. I'm quite surprised. Your light has yet to be snuffed out. Of course not, he's the light bringer. I love this man, but one of the Tesla coils is destroyed. He, he sacrificed one of his super Tesla coils? So he did. I wonder if he actually used that to do something to defend himself, or like, if it just got destroyed by the attack. So he's got one left. That was what it took for him to survive chaos. Both of our fighters have entered our typical extreme diff, low health amount. Seems he had no other choice. He used one of his Super Tesla coils in order to achieve maximum instantaneous output, which he used to partially offset the dev that devilish vibration technique. Or so I would guess. It was only partially effective, but still. Okay, so he basically did an attack to uh, lessen the impact. Nice, nice. I must acknowledge you. You are truly amazing. However, the end is here. The end. Oh, no. None. Nine. I reject that. We have no end. We are forever. Okay, so I guess we are getting Tesla backstory right now. Okay, what page are we on? 18? Can we get a continuation in the next month, maybe? Please? I mean, we saw the after effect of chaos. It's not a transformation. It's just literally a, a giant vibration bomb. Cool. It's quite powerful. Oh, we have no... Tesla doesn't care if he dies. Even if he gets erased, everything that he's done is still there. What does it matter? Austrian Empire, modern day Western Croatia, village of Smiljan. Or Smiljan, I don't know how to pronounce Austrian words. I'm off. Huh? Hold on. Where are you? It's nothing to worry about, mother. He's just going to his secret base again. Ah, Tesla's the best kind of kid. He knocks on the door with its, its cool gear knob. Hello, child Tesla. Five-year-old Tesla. What are God's most beloved numbers? Three, six, nine. Password accepted. I wonder what that's a reference to. <laughs> Welcome, Nicola, to my research lab. Gematria zone. Oh. Dane Tesla. Or Dane Tesla. Okay. Ah, it would seem history has spoiled me on what I had a feeling was going to happen. Cool, cool, cool. Got, got a library, got a workstation with blueprints. Brother, what are you making today? A windmill. Old man Al from the village asked of me. Seven years older than his brother Nicola, Dane was the village's greatest prodigy. As a boy genius, the entire village depended on his abilities. A windmill? Isn't that really ordinary? No way. This design doubles its drive efficiency. Theoretically, this is how it spins. Theoretically. But will this even work? I don't know if it'll even move. There you go again with your worrying. Why do you always accept these requests when you don't even have any confidence in yourself? That's obvious. Is it because you get the money or is it because you help people? Because it makes everyone so happy. There you go. If something that I make can make someone else smile, wasn't that just the greatest feeling? It is a great feeling. That is true. You're a real one for that. <laughs> That's so like you, brother. But I really have no confidence in this one. From the durability of the materials and overall compatibility of the design, what'll I do if it fails? Old man Al will be so disappointed. It's okay if it fails. Eh? Because even if it fails, it means you'll discover something new. Take the stew that Mama made that top... Ah, fuck. Let's try that again. 
Take the stew that Mama taught Sis how to make. The first time she made it, it tasted horrible. <laughs> but making it again and again, it's now her favorite thing ever. Real. It's because it's exactly because of failure that humanity is able to evolve. Literally, the Jesus Christ of science. Look at that halo behind him. Nicola, how old are you again? Five. <laughs> you know, you might really become something amazing one day. <laughs> All right, let's induct you as a research fellow of the Gematria Zone. Huh? No way. The name's so uncool. It It is, but it means prison of the gods. I thought it was cool. Let's give it a cooler name. How about Hyper God House? Me when I'm 12. Or, well, no. The 12-year-old one is the one that has the better names here. <laughs> the Hyper God House. Hi Hi Hyper God House. Yes. The Hyper God House. That real, real hype beast shit. Uh, I'll consider it. His meek but kind-hearted brother and the inventions he made were loved by Nicola more than anything else in the world. But a storm came along on the day of a great storm. Caution, windmill under construction, stay away. That day, his mother and father had been gone since morning, leaving only the children in the house. I'm going to check on the windmill. Even though they said that. They were clearly worried about Dane, who'd yet to return. So Nicola too took off into the storm. Uh oh, the lightning bolt. The windmill got struck by lightning. All the scaffoldings fucking destroyed. Kid, dead. That is shit. Looks like he and the horse got struck by lightning. Ah, killed by electricity. Damn. Brother Dane? Oof. Yeah, and then, then the freak out. Yep. This windmill is still unfinished. Tesla's beloved older brother was called back by the gods far too soon. I'm so sorry. If I hadn't asked him to build that windmill. Well, everyone else mourned his death. Old man Al. Nicola. Don't cry. It's okay. Brother is still alive. Because he'll live on forever through science. Nicola. Donkey. It was a young boy kindly attempting to cheer up a mourner. That's what everyone thought at the time. Everyone except for the boy. Shortly after that, the windmill was finished according to Dane's designs. However, it it's not moving. It must have been a flaw in the design. From then on, the boy genius of the village slowly but surely faded from everyone's memory. As happens when you're gone. People that remember you, they'll go too. And at some point, you'll probably stop having a lasting impact on their lives. Unless it's something incredibly significant. Or unless someone carries on your memories. And from that day, day after day, without rest, Nicholas shut himself away in his brother's gematria zone. And then, six years later, nobody's touched that one well since the day we realized it would never move. I said we just tear it down already. Or at least I said that. He begged us, just give it one more chance. And he gave us a new set of designs. I can't believe it. It's moving. Dane's windmill is alive. Mm-hmm. Looks like a mighty fucking advanced windmill. Good lord. They weren't new designs. I just improved on the original ones, although it did take six years. At age 11, Nicola completes the windmill he inherited from his brother. Look, brother's still alive, see? Through me. Hmm. No. Well, that's right. Through us. As long as we continue to pass on the science we learn, he'll always be alive. 
from then on, throughout his entire life, no. Even after he was called up to the heavens, throughout their continued research, science and humanity, Tesla, stand for the sake of connecting them to the future. Nikola, brother, always the warrior, but it's okay. As long as science continues to grow and flourish, humanity will never die. Must be one from Nikola Tesla's secret confessions. Well, there you go. I didn't think we could fit a Tesla backstory in there, but we did, and it was pretty good. However, we're still having a bit of that imbalance that we had with the last fight. I don't think... I, I don't think it's as bad as it was in the last fight. The reason for that being that Beelzebub needed a lot. You know, he his introduction is doing really messed up shit and just that generally being a really bad person. So you kind of need to do a lot to explain his character. That I get. But he's still got basically two backstories. One really long backstory. Tesla still kind of needs a, a little bit more. A little something something, you know? I need that from my guy. Um, hmm. But I, I like this backstory. I like the message of it. Uh, I like the idea that, you know, being around is not what matters. Leaving something for people to use, something that will help carry people forward into the future and that they'll bring along and build upon. A legacy, if you would. That is the most important thing. So he doesn't care if he gets erased here. What does it matter? He's already left such a lasting impact upon the world. Why, you know, getting killed doesn't matter. It's fine. Now, you know, Gondol kind of gets dragged to that. I don't know how cool Gondol is with that, but you know, still cool. Tesla, still a Chad. Love that guy. This fight, still really good this far. Uh, top four, certainly, I would say. Underneath the classics, two through four, of course. Uh, I would be amazed if a fight manages to top any of those three. Who knows? Maybe this fight will next chapter. You know, could happen, I suppose. But anyway... I guess that's all for this month's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Record of Ragnarok chapter reactions and reviews every month. Will I do a review for this one? Hmm. I, I thought there would be more to talk about with the Beelzebub thing, but there wasn't. So, like, I feel like this chapter kind of speaks for itself. Maybe if I think of something, or maybe at some point I'll do a video that's not a review. I'll do just kind of like a general round eight discussion thing, probably. Yeah. Uh, if you enjoy discussing Record of Ragnarok with other people, or you guys enjoy the content I produce on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.